Hi friends, welcome to our class. Welcome to Anu Academy. Okay, very good morning, friends. Let us uh, start today's class. Today's class, uh, we have selected a great subject. The subject name is Engineering Mechanics. Okay, our subject. Uh, uh, which we are going to, to discuss in our today's class is engineering mechanics okay it is engineering mechanics engineering mechanics okay right first we will start with a great definition of this engineering mechanics engineering mechanics we can give many definitions as per our knowledge okay we can say in uh, our own style about uh, engineering mechanics okay see engineering mechanics uh, we can give a small introduction the subject of mechanics occupies a unique position in the physical science because it is fundamental to so many fields of study okay so engineering mechanics we can write here definition of this uh, engineering mechanics mechanics may be defined okay mechanics may be defined mechanics may be defined as the science mechanics may be defined as the science which describes which describes and predicts the conditions which describes and predicts the conditions predicts the conditions of rest and rest or motion of rest or motion of bodies under the action of forces of bodies under the action of forces okay so this is the definition which comes under engineering mechanics right so especially it is we can say in a simple way about engineering mechanics it is a fundamentals right to learn other subjects like strength of materials materials right metallurgy okay theory of machines so it is a link system in which if we have the basic knowledge of engineering mechanics we can move to the other subjects okay now after having little bit knowledge about this engineering mechanics now we will move to the classification of this engineering mechanics right so how engineering mechanics can be classified right so we will see the classification of this uh, engineering mechanics so first we will write uh, same here engineering mechanics okay engineering mechanics is first divided into two types first is mechanics of mechanics of fluids and next is mechanics of solids mechanics of solids again this mechanics of solids we can classify in this way this mechanics of solids first is deformable deformable bodies deformable bodies next comes the rigid bodies rigid bodies again this deformable bodies are classified into strength of materials strength of materials theory of elasticity theory of elasticity 
theory of elasticity and theory of plasticity theory of plasticity okay again this we will see this one rigid bodies this rigid bodies again can be classified into dynamics dynamics and statics dynamics and statics again this dynamics we can write into kinetics kinetics and kinematics kinetics and kinematics okay right now we will see this what about this uh, mechanics of fluids this mechanics of fluids we can write as ideal fluids ideal fluids viscous fluids viscous fluids and compressible fluids and compressible fluids okay so this is about a simple classification of engineering mechanics okay we came to know about uh, the definition of engineering mechanics we came to know about uh, the classification of engineering mechanics see engineering mechanics is uh, classified into two types first is mechanics of uh, fluids and mechanics of solids under this mechanics of solids uh, it is again classified into two types first is the deformable bodies next is the rigid bodies and again in this uh, deformable bodies it is of strength of materials theory of elasticity theory of plasticity again under rigid bodies dynamics statics again under this dynamics it is kinetics and kinematics we'll move to mechanics of fluids under this mechanics of fluids we can see the ideal fluids viscous fluids and compressible fluids okay so if you are getting a question regarding the classification of engineering mechanics so you have to start with this definition and you can show this classification that is sufficient now we will start learning the basic terms which uh, we, which are coming under this rigid bodies okay now we will move to learn what is a rigid body what is a mass what is force okay right now first we'll start with uh, rigid bodies okay rigid body okay i'll write here rigid rigid body okay first one rigid body see a rigid body is defined as a definite amount of matter the parts of which are fixed in position relative to one another okay it is relative to one another simply we can say until and unless if we apply some force only the body will move okay the body will move that is about this rigid body i will write here a rigid body is defined as a definite amount of matter is defined as a definite definite amount of matter amount of matter the parts of which are fixed the parts of which are which are fixed in position relative to one another fixed in position relative to one another relative to one another this is about rigid body okay actually solid bodies are never rigid they deform under the action of applied forces in many cases this deformation is negligible compared to the size of the body and the body may be assumed rigid if we take some examples okay if we take some examples of this rigid body 
bodies made of steel bodies made of a steel or cast iron steel or cast iron or of this type okay or of this type right next we will move to mass next we will move to mass okay mass is that invariant property of a body which measures its resistance to a change of motion okay mass is that invariant property of a body i'll write here it will be easy for you so mass is that mass is that invariant invariant property of a body invariant property of a body which measures which measures of a body which measures its resistance its resistance to a change of motion to a change of motion to a change of motion okay what do you mean by invariant here mass is that invariant property of a body which measures its resistance to a change of motion what do you mean by invariant means which remains unchanged there is no change invariant of a pro invariant property of a body means which uh, remains unchanged that is about the mass next we will move to force okay force right what do you mean by force here force is the action exerted by one body upon another okay i'll write here force is the action force is the action exerted exerted by one body exerted by one body upon another upon another that is the force okay that is the force now we will see if it is the action part what do you, what happens in the external effect and what happens in the internal effect okay so if it is the action part right exerted by one body upon the other body so we have to think what happens the external effort and what happens to the internal effect so we will write here first external 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 effect external effect okay so external effect is tendency to change the state of motion of the body upon which it acts right so external effect is tendency to change the right here it is the tendency to change tendency to change the state of motion the state of state of motion of the body motion of the body upon which it acts upon which it acts okay next external effect now we will see the internal effect we will see the internal effect okay internal effect means it is the it is also of a force tendency of a force is to produce stress and deformation in the body okay it is internal effect means to produce internal effect means to produce stress and deformation stress and deformation in the body in the body right so this is about the force so force external effect and internal effect now we will see the characteristics of a force okay what are the characteristics of a force i will write here we will write here the 
characteristics characteristics of a force so the characteristics of a force are i uh, like first one its magnitude okay magnitude next one is the position of its line of action the position the position of its of its line of action right so first is the characteristics of a force first is its magnitude second is the position of its line of action okay third one third one is the direction in which the force acts along its line of action so first is the magnitude second is the line of action third is the direction third is the direction in which in which the force acts force acts along force acts along its line of action its line of action okay right so these things we have discussed here so what do you mean by uh, the units of force units of force we can write the unit of force commonly used is newtons or multiples of the newton such as 1 kilo newton is equal to 1000 newtons okay 1 kilo newton is equal to 1000 newton okay that's all friends for today's class next class we will discuss the principle of transmissibility the principle of transmissibility of a force okay so that's all friends for today's class uh, please subscribe our channel please like and share our channel to your friends please uh, discuss uh, about uh, the class work which is going in our channel okay thank you very much thank you for watching